was a it was a, a while ago. I was a young boy, and um, I was I was involved in pony club and hunting, and. Uh, the, the horse that I was meant to be eventing over the summer holidays was uh, was was injured, and um, so I went to go and ride out for a, for a local trainer, uh, a chap called John Duffy, a point to point trainer. When I was, I think I was 14 at the time, and uh, got run away with, and thought it was the best thing since sliced bread, and uh, wanted to become a jockey after that. And then when I was 16, rode in, rode in a few races, got going, and um, and then obviously racing developed, and uh, here we are, sort of few years down the line. The colonel of my regiment giving me time off for a year to go down to Paul Nichols's. I had the, the, the amazing fortune to be um, working with the champion trainer and uh, y you can't help but pick up uh, good signals from him and uh, you know riding decent horses not only up the gallops every day but uh, but also in races and I think my, my career as an amateur jockey, um, not only in point to points but also riding under rules, was, was invaluable in learning the tricks of the trade. And um, the Colonel sent me off to, to Pools to supposedly go and win the Grand Military Gold Cup. They come down now towards the final fence in the 2006 running of the Grand Military Gold Cup. Here comes Inca Trail towards the white outside. Inca Trail in the dark blue. The grey on the inside of Happy Azar. Still he waits here on Inca Trail. Now battling back on the inside is Happy Azar. Now he has to really go through the gears. Inca Trail, he's got his nose in front. Inca Trail, great ride! And, uh... Yeah, it, it worked brilliantly, and I rode some some great horses in in that race, um, both the Grand Military and the Royal Artillery to, to ride horses and and win on you know Hula Blue and Watenzo and and first love for the Queen. It's first love comes now to the 22nd and final fence, and he's over and he's clear. Oracle de Mott is in second, and it's the Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother Memorial Hunters Chase, is going to go to first love in the colours of Her Majesty the Queen and Jamie Snowden. And uh, had a great time at Pools, thoroughly enjoyed it, learned a, an awful lot, and uh, went back, finished off my, 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 um, my term in the army. And when I, when I left, I, I decided that racing was, was the thing for me and I got a job as um, Nicky Henderson's assistant trainer. And uh, I was there for three years, had a, an absolute ball. I rode some amazing horses, learnt again an awful lot from a, a, a very traditional trainer like Nicky. And I had the, uh, the, the good fortune to be in the right place at the right time to, to actually ride many good horses. You know, my uh, life as an amateur jockey went from so, you know, it went from strength to strength purely on the fact that I was surrounded by trainers like Paul Nichols and Nicky Henderson. And, you know, training was always going to be the, the, the career at the end of it. Having, having done the three years at Nicky's, I went off and set up my own yard down near Salisbury. And uh, we started off there in July 08 with one horse and one member of staff. And here we are three years later, um, 30 horses, and we've moved into Folly House.